Happy Tuesday. Welcome back to the show, everyone. When you travel by air, are you someone who chats with your fellow passengers or someone who avoids all interaction at all costs? Mm. I've decided that. All right, if you're the latter, today's Have You Heard topic just might surprise you. Oh, are we ready to get into it? Yes, let's, right, do, let's it. do it. Okay, so there are many places people find love, school, work, online dating, apps, parties, the gym. But have you ever heard of someone meeting on an airplane? Of course. All right. Well, yeah. a new survey of international travelers finds that 30% say they have dated someone they met Whoa. on a plane. Mm -hmm. But it's check this percentage. out. 23% say they have married someone they met while traveling, though that's not just people on the plane, that's throughout the whole trip. Sure. Okay. And 25% have met a best friend <gasps> while traveling. Okay, get this, on an average trip, you will make four new friends and you will gain 12 new followers on social media. Fantastic. So do you, let's go. What a let's trip. go. I do think that's great. Do you chat with people while you are traveling? Let's start on the airplane. What do you think? <laughs> yes. I think you chat, I think yes. you have cell phone numbers, I think you know mm -hmm. where they live, yeah. and I think you're probably invited to their vista in the south of France. Did yes. that really happen? All of it, no. Okay. Oh. Um, but I will say, yeah, now, for sure when I was younger, I was even more so right. chatty Cathy. Now, because we hadn't been traveling before right. you know, for the last two uh -huh. years, now I find myself, the few times I have, like, I kind of, I say my hellos, but I do kind of keep to myself right yeah what well especially because we, we were wearing masks sure so sure. you couldn't you kind of were like what'd you say right but right, definitely right. if I'm I have a long layover I'm at a restaurant sitting mm -hmm. up at the bar having yeah. lunch you know that what do you think I do I think you keep to yourself <laughs> and you have your earbuds in that is correct ding 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 wait ding 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 <laughs> that is correct I yes I keep to myself unless somebody is really I might find like really interesting waving trying to get your attention <laughs> right yes. yes of course Otherwise, mm -hmm. yes, mum's the word. Uh -huh. Okay, let us know what you do. Yeah. All right, second, have you heard that taking a one week break from social media makes us happier? Mm -hmm. I believe that. In a new study, researchers asked 150 people who use it every day to stay off of it for a week. By the end, they were less stressed, less depressed, and happier overall. But get this, a lot of them just couldn't do it. I'm sure mm. that's no surprise. The average person still spent 21 minutes of their week on things like Facebook and TikTok. So I want to ask you, have you ever taken kind of an extended break from social media? Mm. Could you do it for a long time? Um, how was it? Mm -hmm. Let us know. I really haven't, I don't think. I could easily do this. I could easily I do it. I don't care. I, I really don't. Like, I am not a victim to social media. And I think, duh, this study. I mean, of course you're happier if you're not on it. Right. But, I mean, also, like, we weren't... <laughs> I don't want to get on a soapbox, but we weren't made to take opinions and from everyone on the right. planet. We were made. We were put on. The, we were to survive in our own village, essentially. Right. Well, we're hold not on evolved. For a minute, as you were saying, it, it <laughs> looked like we were back in the Stone Age. Like, yes. Yeah, you were we're, like, we're we not were... evolved to take in all of this information all the time. It's too much. It now, is. Now that being said, if we were also in a village situation, I would not survive two days because I can't see anything. So I am happy. <laughs> I would for you. the advances of modern technology, you. but I'm just saying that, yes, I think breaks from social media are beneficial. Yes. Mm -hmm. I think so. Well, I find that it's not even um, social media so much as sometimes if Jim and I are watching a movie and I'll get a little bored, right. I just start scrolling. Like, That's you true. can just go, to, sure. not even on social media, like I'll I'll ponder a question. What shampoo conditioner should I be? Next sure, thing you know, sure. you're just right. inundated with too, too much information. Yeah. Just that stop being it said, all. I do get on, though, for real to just make sure that people know that I'm liking their stuff, which I know. is also another thing you do. Okay, all right, speaking of... Oh, oh. we ran out of time. We, time. we really went on the, good. we really went on the, we you did. know, down the rabbit hole it on that one. about puppies. We'll just cover it later. We'll cover it later. Mm -hmm. Okay, but do me a favor. Please weigh on today's topics on our Facebook page. We're facebook.com slash ATL and Co. Yeah. We'd love to hear your thoughts. Mm -hmm.